The area of a 30 degree sector shown below is 3 pi. What is the circumference of the circle? So circles are going to be always proportional to one another. In this case it's the same thing, but um, we can just solve this by doing a little bit of uh, inverse operations. So the area and we want circumference. That's the goal. So we need to get the R by itself. So the way I would do this Let's first find what the radius is. Goal is a radius. Okay. Because they're given us the area, but we want to find the entire circumference. Okay. So what we have here is 3 pi. is equal to pi r squared times 30 degrees all over 360. So the first thing I see that we need to do to get r by itself is we need to multiply both sides by 360. And again, this is the sector formula. So we're going to multiply both sides by 360 because we want to get that 360 out of the denominator. So here, 360 times 3 gets us 1080. And don't touch the pi because we have pi on both sides. 1080 pi is equal to pi r squared times 30. From here, we have a pi and a 30 being multiplied. So the inverse multiplication is division. So I'm going to multiply 30 pi to both sides. So we divide it by 30. And we get 36 equals r squared, because the pi cancels. And we just do 10a divided by pi. The inverse of a square is a square root. So we get r is equal to 6. So here the circumference of the circle would be this. c is equal to 2 pi r. c is equal to 2 times pi times 6. 6 times 2 is 12. We get 12 pi. So our answer here in terms of pi would be 12 pi which is uh, choice B on the assignment. All right, that's number one.